Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, it's the best receiving course since, since I've been there uh, at Hewitt, and so we're really excited about that. Obviously, it starts with Noah. Just, I mean, he's a big-time uh, recruit. I mean, he's one of the best players in the country uh, at, at his position. Uh, he's a guy that not only can, can catch the ball, but obviously he's a guy that we'll use in our run game as well. Um, but him, Logan Pitts, um, Christian Stewart's a senior, and so we're, uh, we've got Lee Reagan. There, there's just a lot of depth there, I feel like. I think that's the biggest difference what we've had the last couple of years. We have more depth at that position. Now, your offensive coordinator left and joined Auburn mm -hmm. support staff. Do you take on, do you think, more of a role this season? I, I know you always have a big hand in the offense, mm -hmm. but, I mean, do you, do you take more of that on, do you think? Not really. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean I'm, I'm always involved with the offense, so it's really, it really hadn't been much of a change. Um, we, we made our, our offensive line coach, Caleb Perry, who's been with me. He was with me in Arkansas for several years, and he was an offensive coordinator in, in Georgia before I hired him when I came here to Hewitt Trustville. And so, um, you know, he, he knows our system. Uh, as well as anybody, and so uh, you know, and he bring, there's a little bit of difference there. I mean, there will definitely be a few changes. I mean, we, we were going to make a few changes this year anyway, just because you know we, we try to we try to evolve every single year. I, I think I mean you have to uh, you know now that we've been here a couple of years, obviously people kind of know what we do a little bit more, and so I, I think we have to keep evolving. And and uh, what I always say, the best thing about our offense is we adapt to our personnel, and so uh, you know quarterbacks different, um, some some of the other spots are different, and so we have to adapt accordingly. When it comes to the quarterback, Connor Adair, um, mm -hmm. from just talking to some of your guys at the seven on sevens, mm -hmm. uh, he's a new quarterback, but he's very familiar with a lot of the players. I mean, those players were saying, we, we've been playing youth football <laughs> right. all the way up. Has that right. helped the transition? Uh, uh, no doubt. I mean, I, I think that Connor, obviously, he grew up in the trust field and, and, and he played with all those guys and you know and, I, and that's why he's back I mean he's friends those are all his buddies you know they're his best friends and so I, I think uh, it's been an easy transition for him. How many starters you got back coach? Uh, we have eight on offense and six or seven on defense yeah. We were talking to uh, well, Jerry was here yesterday and a couple of questions about him <coughs> not to throw you throw these at you but first off he was talking about Nico obviously they got a yeah. uh, highly recruited wide receiver sure. too and he was talking about how you kind of kind of balance getting the ball to him because he's the star but mm -hmm. you know you can't throw it to him every time obviously right. you got to be balanced so how do sure. you how do you do that um keep no involved but also stay balanced as well well I, I think uh the main thing I mean the defenses we play they're really good and so you know even as good as Noah is you know, if we don't have other weapons in other spots, you know, that they can put a corner in his face and put a safety over the top of him. Now they're, you know, they're, they're doing some type of bracket coverage or double coverage. And, and, and so, you know, even as good as he is, they can somewhat shut people down just because, you know, the DBs are so good. I mean, I feel like we're, you know, several times you're going against a Division One DB. So he's good too. And so I think that that's where the difference is for us this year is I think we have more weapons, um, especially on the inside, inside receiver with Logan Pitts. Um, our running back, Grayson Cash, uh, got, it's been, he'll be a three-year starter for us. He's a, he's a special football player. He's one, he's one of the best uh, players on our entire team. I think he's one of the best players in the state. And uh, he's a guy that is a good running back, but, but what I like about him is he brings a lot uh, to the receiving core as well because he'll be one of our leading receivers as well. So I, I think it, it's just a matter of, I mean, you have to balance it out because I think, again, the, the teams that we're playing anyway on our schedule, I mean, they're, they're really, really good uh, and they're really well coached. And so um, if you only have one guy, Eventually, you, you know, you're going to get shut down, you know, so you have to have other options. Is it going to test Noah's patience? Just because, you know, he's going to be the focus, so he may not be involved early I, on just because they're working a right. to take him out. I, I don't think so. I mean, Noah's an unselfish kid. Uh, you know, when I first got here his sophomore season, I remember he won the job because he blocked. You know, it wasn't. We knew he was fast, but it was it was because he was blocking his tail off every single play. And so I, he's an unselfish kid. I mean, you look at his highlight film, he's, he's chasing down people, having block, making big-time blocks, and so he'll be fine. He's going to get the ball, so I don't think he's worried about it. He, he knows he's going to get the ball. We were asking, I uh, wanted to get your side of it. We were asking mm -hmm. Jerry yesterday about the rivalry uh -huh. that you guys want to play in. He was, I could tell he was a little disappointed. He was very PC about it, but just your side of it. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, it, it just didn't work out with our schedule, but what we wanted to do this year. And, uh, you know, it's nothing personal with those guys. You know, it's something, you know, we, we might play them in the future. Um, you know, we did. Originally, it was going to be week 10. You know, that's what it had been, and I, and I didn't want to do that. And, and me and Jerry talked, and he did. You know, there were some other options possibly earlier in the season. Um, now, now we were already uh, under contract under contract with some of the teams that we're playing. And so, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just – my job is to do what's best for our football team. And, uh, you know, we feel like this is the best for our football team. We're playing a very, very challenging schedule. I mean, it's not like we're taking anything off. You know, we're, we're playing two out-of-state powers um, that are state championship type teams in their states. Um, and then you look at our, our region. I mean, it, you know, it's as good as anybody and, you know, big-time players. Um, at, at a lot of those schools, and so it's going to be a huge challenge. You're from the Gus Malzahn school, so I know what you're going to say about hypotheticals, but I mean, you could see a rivalry like this being renewed down the line. 
Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I, I think it just it, it just depends on the situation every year. I, th I, you know, I think every every cycle is probably different. Um, you know, it depends on where we're at in classification and all that too. You know, I mean, I, and I think we're always going to be seven A. Um, but uh, you know, I think it's it's different when you're playing six A, seven A teams, and you know, the, the, we don't have the luxury to only get up a few times a year. You know, we don't. I mean, we're, we're playing every single week, and uh, so you know, it's a tough tough schedule. What's been a real focus or the emphasis that you really wanted to bring from the offseason and transfer into the season as we get ready for 2016? Can you read that again? Sorry. I was just going to say, <laughs> what, what has been the yeah. focus this oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, to sure. get ready for this? Well, you know, we just want to take the next step in our program. And, uh, you know, we've made the playoffs the first couple of years, which is, which is good and everything. But we're really trying to become a championship program. And so I, I think uh, a big difference is I think our guys are bigger and stronger than we've been. Um, you know, our first season here, we really didn't have an offseason. I mean, we showed up in June and July. And so um, really last year was the first offseason. We had another full offseason this year and another good summer. And so, uh, you know, our guys are – they just want to take that next step, and they were really close last year. We had times that we were a really, really good football team. I, th I thought there were times we were playing as good as good as anybody. Um, now, at the same time, we knew we were thin in some areas, uh, and so I I'm most excited. I feel like we have more depth overall as a team, and uh, so, so, so I'm excited about that. You know, because you know, you get back into the schedule. Um, you know, we've had a tough end of the year schedule, and you know, we haven't been able to go into that next round yet. You know, we've been, you know, some of that's our own fault. We just we just haven't been physically ready. To, uh, to take that kind of pounding. And so um, I, I think this year will, is the best we've been from a physical standpoint.